Acne actually is not a skin condition, it is a medical illness. There are many causes can lead to acne formation. Hormonal changes is one of them. Those causes can lead to overactivity of the sebaceous gland, the oil gland. Oil duct will become blocked with the excessive oil and dead skin cell. This may lead to overgrowth of the bacteria. The overgrowth of the bacteria can lead to inflammations and the inflammations were presented with pimples with pus. If condition serious, it may create a nodule or cyst which may lead to scar formation. Complications for the acne are divided into two. The physical complications are permanent scarring and the other one is the psychological impact on the quality of life. To those teenagers with acne, they may embarrass about their appearance during their social activity and the worst scenario, it can cause depression, may lead to commit suicide. We treat acne according to the severity. Usually, we combine different modalities. We use the topical treatments, oral therapy, and physical therapy. Our objective of treatments mainly is to clear the active acne on the affected area, and then to prevent scar formation and prevent reoccurrence of the acne. My favorite treatments of options are microneedling radiofrequency. It's using insulated needle. At the tip of the needle, we release the radiofrequency, creating high heat and selectively it can destroy the sebaceous gland. Once the sebaceous gland is destroyed, it will no longer produce excessive oil production. With the treatments of 3 to 5 sessions, it can near permanent prevent the acne to be reoccurrence again. Acne currently is considered a medical illness and not a skin condition. We need proper management by trained medical doctor is to prevent the complications.